Hey everyone, welcome back to Forensic Education. I'm Mike McCutcheon. So I have uh, some lights here that I am so excited to show you today. These lights are sent to me by my friend Jason Cole from Foster Freeman. And these are high-end alternative light sources for you to use for uh, forensic work or uh, in the laboratory or on the scene. These things are absolutely amazing. Now on the scene, I usually carry a, a lower-powered handheld light um, it cost a few hundred dollars and it works amazing but these are uh, so powerful you're going to see that the, the power of these lights is you, you can't even match it so let's open it up and see what we got I got another little surprise here for you as well so these are crime lights I told you they're from Foster Freeman oh boy this looks so good alright so let's see what I have in this pack this pack actually has three lights in it it has a blue light in it blue light right on it and you can see that and this is going to be uh, between 420 and 470 nanometers this one's a UV light and this in nanometers is going to be between 350 350 and 380 350 and 380 I got uh, these things are so strong they run off of an 18 volt battery I'm telling you you're gonna you're gonna love this I also have a, uh, I was going to save this to the end. This is a uh, light that's going to be run by the same battery. It's unbelievably strong. You just saw I put in here, they have different color filters you can put on them. But we're going to use this to locate our foot impressions. Uh, and that is going to be one of my favorites. So I'm going to save that for you at the end. You have to watch the whole thing to get that. So another um, unique product that's in here are the filters. So usually when you wear your um, goggles, they're okay. They, they cover your eyes or I have these filters here that I use when I'm using my alternative light sources and they work fine and they're, they're no problem. But these, these cover everything. So you're not getting any outside light. You're only seeing what's being filtered through the lens. So this is one of the, uh, the best parts of, of this light I think is, is that light right, uh, those goggles right here. Okay, so I'm going to take out my batteries and we're going to do a little experiment here to see how bright these lights are. I'm going to take out our light. I don't want to ruin that. I have a couple of little pieces. I'll take out as well. Okay, perfect. So again, this is the uh, it's the it's the crime light from Foster and Freeman. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we need to assemble this light, and these plastic pieces will click on, and that's what allows your 18 volt batteries to come on. Now, unlike a a normal light that will have a small rechargeable batteries, these things do last quite a bit and they are very, very powerful. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set these two up and I'm going to show you how bright they actually are. All right, so I got these two lights set up. Boom, these babies are ready to go. So now I'm telling you that these things are powerful. Now I'm looking at the, the source sheet here. These are going to put out over 5,000 lumens compared to some of the others. So uh, imagine the power of that um, small handheld light you have compared to a crime light like this that's going to put out that amount of time. The battery charges in about 20 minutes and you can get uh, 750 minutes uh, for battery life on this. So you got this giant battery but it's going to last a long time. So you don't have to worry about trying to uh, look real quick and then the battery dies and then you got to charge it. I got the two batteries because I do a lot of training and teaching and we're switching lights and that kind of thing. But one battery is going to last you for over over 700 minutes. So I set up a couple of things here. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, let's start with this. So I have a uh, couple of things here that I had dusted using a um, a fluorescent powder. And so I used a uh, fluorescent green powder. 
Now, I actually, I don't know if I hit these. I'm going to just hit them again, just to be sure. I don't remember if I did. Now, using my feather brush, I'm using a feather brush, and i um, using a, a green, fluorescent green powder. You need to use the tiniest amount of powder when you're using a fluorescent powder. Just a little bit. Okay, that's your own. Nice. That's a great technique. Oh yeah, these are going to pop, baby. These are going to pop nice. Okay, so now that I have a couple of samples here, I also did some I can see on the, the black tile, but you can use this stuff for, uh, let's see, I used, uh, I dyed some fingerprints using the basic yellow. I dyed some prints using um, some Ardrox. Oh, that one's looking good. I can see that already with the R-Drox. It's looking nice. So you can use these lights for anything where you would need an alternative light source because they're that powerful. And, okay, yep, yep, yep. Let's, let's turn off the lights, and then we'll actually get to see what these lights are going to look like. So I want to see if I can see how this looks um, with just one spotlight on um, and using a little bit. So I'm going to first turn this one on. Now this is the UV light. Now this is putting out a tremendous, oh man, that looks good. This is putting out a tremendous amount of light. Um, but what I find with UV light is it's difficult because you really need a powerful, powerful light to be able to push that, um, that UV ray out, where a lot of times you're not really going to be able to see that very well um, on a smaller light because it's just not, um, you, you really need that energy, you need the big power pack. So I can see here, now, if you're looking on this, you probably can't see that there's any prints on it. Again, I dimmed the lights here, and then I put my light on this, and you can see those popping up nice. I'll actually even bring them up close up so you can see. Um, we could do that with any number of them. Uh, here's one using some of the dye stains. Now, again, this is without using our filter just because I'm trying to, to show you here but we could certainly use our filter uh, to be able to see these prints but this thing is loaded with them I can see it all over the place on here so that's looking that's looking amazing now this is the UV light and it's working already you can see how amazing and how powerful that is but now let's watch this let's watch with the blue light Take a second. Oh, now we're talking. I can actually see the particles from my dust in the air here as I'm trying. It, it's bright. I'm trying to look at it. It's probably blasting you in the, in, in the camera here. But now we're going to look at that. I'm going to put up. Oh, this thing is so unbelievably bright. I'm going to put it here. And then you're going to look. My, sorry, my filter is filthy now. But I can't even look directly at this one because it's that bright. That's how strong these lights are. Um, so we've got that. Let's look at the black. See if that will absorb some of the, the brightness here. So you have some prints there. And again, I'm going to take you in on the close-up for this. That's looking good. That's looking sharp, Mike. Okay, now. Ah, there you go. Now you can see my beautiful face. And we can go, whew, all I see is that spot. This thing is so unbelievably bright. And one thing that people do is it does take a minute. So watch. I'm going to turn this on. Click the button. One, two. It'll take like two seconds for it to kick on. Whenever I'm in class, people will always turn it on. And for some reason, they'll look at it to why it didn't just come on automatically or in that one second. And then it blasts them in the face. I don't know why they think looking into it is going to make the light come on. But... Don't look directly into it because this thing is unbelievably strong. But now we're going to get to one of my favorite, favorite lights and one of the favorite uh, pieces of equipment here. So <clears throat> if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I really enjoy footwear. I, I think footwear is just absolutely amazing because most criminals don't change their shoes. And it's something that you can tie a suspect to your scene. Um, long after the, the crime has been committed, you can connect different crime scenes. I just really, really enjoy footwear, and I think it's amazing. Now, one of the things that we do is we teach that you're to use oblique lighting. 
So for example, I have my, um, my tile here with a foot impression on it, but you may not be able to see that. You probably can't see it in the, in the camera until I shine a light across it. That's oblique lighting. Well, this bad boy right here, I'm just going to use the battery. Now this thing, again, remember, you got, you, you're putting out, you know, 5,000 lumens. I mean, this thing is unbelievably bright. I'm going to blast you. Okay? So now, what this does is if you want to see, and again, I have light on. Usually you do this in the dark. But I put this, oh, I can't see. Here we go. I put this right along. You can run this right across the floor. And you would be able to find whatever you want. You could hold it up to the wall, follow it along the wall. Um, this thing is unbelievable for finding foot impressions. So you could see these beautiful foot impressions. And again, I'll throw this in in the close-up. Now, another nice thing about this is it has uh, just this little piece here that's not on the other ones so that it doesn't flop down on you. It's going to stay nice and parallel with the floor. Now, you're thinking, well, I don't want to have to crouch down and roll around on the floor in some crappy crime scene that's all nasty. So what you do is you put this on it, and this comes in the kit. has a telescoping handle. I'm sitting down, so I'm not going to put it all the way up. But then you would just run this along the floor like this. Look at all this stuff in the way. You run it along the floor like that. You have it on there. Now you can search the whole floor. I'll even stand up so you can just move it like this. So this thing uh, is one of my favorites. I absolutely love it for, uh, for finding foot impressions. It's very, very impressive when you are uh, looking for foot impressions and you put this thing on there and it's uh, really, really powerful. Here's that foot impression. Now we're only seeing a tiny little piece. If you look really close, you can see it. But we're going to cover that. There we go. So that's using the crime light. Now I'm going to turn it so you can see what I'm actually doing. I'm using the light. I'm coming in from the side. Look at that. Look at that beautiful foot impression. Now that is some really unbelievable detail you're able to see in that foot impression using this light. That's amazing. Oh, and I forgot one more thing. So check this out. So I'm going to put this back on. Bam. I'm going to I'm going to put on my filters. And so now you can also use this with the different filters. So I have I have a red one, I have a yellow one, we have green. So now you have your your um, your green light. I'm going to use that with my my filters. Um, so it comes with, the, I think, four different filters that you're able to put on here to change uh, that light beam. So that works really well. So that's what I had today. Uh, I was really excited to show you the, um, this crime light. This is the 82L um, and the 82S. <clears throat> these two things are, uh, again, I got these from Foster Freeman. Um, Jason Cole provided these for us. Uh, if you're interested in these, just uh, you can send me an email and I'll, and I'll give you his info. But uh, follow all my videos on ForensicEducation.net. You can also follow them here on YouTube, of course. And I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and all that kind of stuff. So why aren't you following me? You should follow me. It helps me out. You know what I'm saying? If you want us to come to you and do some training at your PD or your school, um, certainly reach out through the website. You can email me, and I'll make sure that we, uh, we get that started. Um, so far, we've hit 20 different states, and we want to hit them all. So we haven't been to your state. We would love to come there. Uh, that's it. That's all I have. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you soon.